Hey everybody, welcome back to the Build Show Network. Steve Basic, architect, and I'm standing in, inside the house of our uh, Green Logic Builders project. And today we're going to talk about the air barrier at the ceiling, right? So, what are we using here? We're using Sega Myrex, it's a smart vapor retarder, but it is also a legitimate air barrier, so meaning that air can't move through it. Moisture is allowed to migrate through it through vapor diffusion, but air can't go through it. Now, why do we need an air barrier? Well, remember, when you build a house, it's basically a six-sided box, right? That we have the four walls, the roof, and the, and the, uh, the bottom. So we need something on the lid. For the basement, we did the concrete slab, comes up the concrete walls, we make a connection to our wall system, but then we stop there and we have to figure out a way to get across the house to the top of the other wall. So what we did here was, you can see here, there's a little bit of a lighter pattern there. So we did a flap that actually starts on the outside of the wall. It goes up the wall, across the plate, and it was just draped down while the guys, the framers, set the roof trusses. Once the roof trusses were in place, that flap went up, the piece that came across the wall or across the ceiling here goes underneath it, it gets taped, and then it got buried by the two by four strapping. Now, what's going on with the two by four strapping, you're probably wondering, well, we need service cavity, we need to be able to run some lights. You can see here, we have an area where we're gonna have recessed lighting. Because we have LED now, we don't have these high hats, so we can deal with this kind of low air barrier transition, but still get the benefit of those LED recessed lighting in there. Now, how do we deal with interior partitions? Well, it's not much different than what we did out at the exterior wall. You can see here, there's a little lighter, whiter face there. Well, they had a 16-inch uh, strip that was draped over the wall, set the trusses, and again, that strip went up, you have the strip, the Myrex comes across, and then that gets taped, the two by four, gets put up over the tape, but now we have this very consistent air barrier that connects from the outside of the wall to our zip sheathing there, which is our air barrier on the outside of the wall, comes up over the top of the wall, under the truss, runs along the bottom cord of the trusses here, goes out over the top plate, and then down the wall on the other side. So we, in fact, complete that sixth side of the box. Now, one of the beauties of working with a company like Sika is they don't only make their uh, smart vapor retarder, but they make a beautiful tape here, Sika Resan tape. And the Resan tape is made intentionally to tape the Sika Myrex so it can complete that air barrier because, you know, we probably can't get 24 foot rolls of this stuff. So we have to put it up. We have to put it up in pieces. Those pieces have to get taped. And a company like Sega, well, they not only provide the uh, sheet goods, but they provide the tape there. Anyways, let's jump back to the studio. We're going to talk about continuity of air barriers using the Sega Myrex problem. We'll see you back at the studio. Hey, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed that uh, little trip out there. Green Logic guys are doing a great job. Um, and uh, teaming up with Sega products. and. Uh, using their Myrex um, Smart Vapor Retarder as uh, part of our air barrier across the top instead of using the gypsum board like you've seen in some of the previous videos. But anyways, I've got Big Red, got some details here. Let's uh, have at it and let's continue the discussion. All right, so a couple details here. Of course, we got a good friend here, Big Red, get you uh, little orientation. So here's that top of the wall. It's our double top plate. You can see the stud wall there. We have our zip R9 out here. Should have a break in it there. Um, so we talked about the Sega um, Myrex. You can see it there. It's 
M-A-J-R-E-X. It's a smart vapor retarder. Right. <clears throat> and uh, it allows moisture to migrate up. And you can see we have a vented roof here. Right. So that moisture you get carried away. You have roughly uh, about R80 cellulose here. And uh, the Myrex allows that moisture to migrate up there, but it doesn't allow air to go up through there. So it makes for conceivably a good air barrier. Now, a lot of times you've seen some videos of mine and details where I use the drywall, but in this case here, we were going to use the Sega Myrex uh, product. So we started out with, you can see in the the photos there, the Myrex, they actually ran a flap that went over the top plate and then it just draped in. And that was roughly a, I don't know, about a 16 inch piece. And you can see I call for a 16 inch flap over plate before truss. So we throw that in there. And then they set the truss down and you can see the bottom cord of the truss. It's right there. And then what happens is that flap gets flipped up. And so now it goes to there. And then what they did was, Nana and crew, they uh, rolled it out along the ceiling. And then they just simply taped that with that resawn tape. And then we put the 2 by 4 strapping in there that you saw. And then when we get to an interior partition... It's uh, very similar. So there's the interior partition, double top plate, and there's the wall partition. Well, we call for the 16 inch flap over the plate. So again, they ran it over and just let it drape down. They set the trusses, you can see the truss coming in there. And then they flip this up to that position there and there. And then the ceiling one came in and they simply taped it. And the ceiling one came in and they simply taped it. And then on the flip side over here, you pretty much have this wall as opposite hand. So it comes and it goes back down the wall. It connects to the zip R9, which is our air barrier on the outside of the wall. And then that takes it down to the foundation. So that takes care of the four side walls and the lid that, you know, you get this box, you have one, two, three, four, and then this is that lid where we've used that Myrex product. And wherever we had partition walls in here, we just did this detail where we position that uh, 16 inch piece first, and then we rolled it up, uh, tacked it off, and taped it so that we maintain what's my favorite word. You know it. Continuity. Right? And in this case, it's air barrier continuity. At the ceiling level. All right? Sega. Name of the product. Myrex. Sorry. M-A-R-E-M-A-J-R-E-X. And it's made by the company Sega. Sega is a Swiss company. Right. They make great products. They, uh, their commitment is to seal up the world airtight. Great company, great product, great execution by uh, Dana and the guys out at Green Logic. And uh, so, what that translates to is we place our house in a position for success. So, when our good friend Jason decides to move into the house when it's done, it's going to live nice and comfortably knowing that when air tries to escape through there, it can't because we maintain air barrier continuity. Anyways, that's the uh, 411 on my Rex. All right. I think that about wraps it up. If you're looking for more, Build Show Network. Got a whole catalog of videos there. Remember, got to watch them seven times. Go check them out. Check out my buddies, Matt, Wade, Jake, Brent, 
Zach, Drywall, Shorty, Mechanical Hub, and Design Build Doug. I know, it's a long list. I gotta try and remember. If you're looking more for me, you can find more on uh, Instagram, Steve Basic Architect, putting up stuff daily there. You can go check it out. And uh, you can also find me on the Unbuilder podcast, where I keep up with good friends, uh, Jake Bruton and Peter Yost. And we discuss everything building. So, anyways, go check it out. And uh, until next time, long live our buildings.